Good morning. I'm going to read you a story about Mr. One who lives on the Matheson Forest. And we're going to see where he lives. Now, Mr. One lives in the Matheson Forest. This is his house. His house is red because red is his favorite color. And he likes everything in once. So he's got one flower pot, he's got one chimney, he's got one dot in his house. And he lives next to Miss Zero and Miss Two. Now let's see what Mr. One is up to today. Mo and Coco woke up early one morning and decided to go for a walk in the forest to visit the numbers. Coco was happily counting the flowers along the side of the road as she landed on them. One, two, three, four. Just then, they heard a noise coming from behind a tall fig tree. Mo tiptoed slowly around the tree trunk to see what it was. As he looked around, he saw Mr. One crying behind a tree. Oh no, what happened Mr. One? Why are you crying? asked Mo. Oh, hello Mo. I'm not very happy today. The weather was so bad yesterday. The wind was very strong and it broke down my house. Oh, don't cry, Mr. One. Coco and I will help you build you a new house. Of course we can help you. Let me ask for some of our friends for help. <gasps> really? That would be fantastic. Are you sure you can do all of that in one day? As you know, I'm number one and I love everything in one. I like one table, one chair, one bed. No problem. We will start to build it as soon as our friends get here. Then we can help you decorate it just the way you like it. Coco called out Bulby, the forest handyman, and Ido, the ladybird, to help. Mr. One was very happy indeed and started to smile. Now, in just one minute, they all got together to help. They started to build a very nice house for Mr. One in just one day with a perfect plan. They made sure everything was finished. Then they called Mr. One over to see his new house. I love it. Now it's time to decorate it. Now, as you can see, Mr. One has a red house, like the one I have over here. And now we've got to decorate it inside with only one item, because he likes everything in ones. As you can see, he has one door with the number one on it. He's got one window, one chimney, one flower pot. Balbi and Edo had to leave, so Mr. One thanked them for helping build his new house. Mr. One tapped his thinking finger on his head. Hmm. Coco started to giggle. She whispered, Mo, what is Mr. One doing? Mo's father Coco told her that all the mum numbers in the Matheson forest had a thinking finger and that helped them solve any problem they had. So, Mr. One started to make a shopping list of all the things he would need in his new house. I will need one bed to sleep in, one table to sit at, one plate to eat from, one chair to sit on, and one cup to drink from, and one book to read. So Mr. One went shopping to buy all of the things he needs on his list. Now children, we're going to do this at home. 
So if you can find a house, and if you can't, you can always build one using some Legos or some blocks. And then once you've built in the house, you can put things in it that are the color red, and you need to make sure there's only one quantity of each. Let's see if you can do this at home. You can get yourself a basket and go around the whole house and see what you can find that's red. And make sure that you put them in his house. So I found one tomato, one red car, one red crab, one red toothbrush, and one red tray. See if you can find some red items in your home. Thank you. See you later.